Hey friends, welcome back and thank you so much for joining us here today for our fourth podcast short here on A Detour Path, where we either emphasize or re-emphasize what we perceive to be a very important topic, story, poem, ponder, or potential pondering that has either already been mentioned or not mentioned in full episodes of A Detour Path and is either worth mentioning or re-mentioning again. My name is Chelsea Marie Marget, and as always, I'll be your host here today and every day on A Detoured Path, where we fully firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute. The following is a variation of a talk that we gave live on Wisdom a little while back called, Do You Ever Have One of Those Days? Hashtag Life. Wisdom can be found in your friendly neighborhood app store and is free to purchase. Come find me on Wisdom to hear a live talk and queue up to be a guest in real time and converse. And so here we are. Do you ever have one of those days where you just want to sit around on your rump roast and have absolutely no motivation to do anything, are completely and utterly burned out from everything and everyone and are just trying to get your body to your feet before you burst into tears because you just want to crawl back under the covers and recharge like you should and have the right to? The reality is a computer gets to plug back in and recharge. A phone gets to plug back in and recharge. We all turn off our cars, our TVs, and our laptops so they can rest and recharge. Why can't we? Why do we have to push ourselves on little or no or lack of sleep? Why do we have to do that one last thing, that one more thing, or that quote unquote, just one more thing for someone else that for some reason they can't seem to do for themselves? Why do we have to skip out on the fun things in order to get the work done? Why do we have to put in as twice as much effort in order to have the career we really want rather than the one that just barely gets the bills paid? Why do we spend the time and money on higher education, university, and college to just be paying off school loans rather than saving for retirement like everyone tells us we ought to be doing? Have we just simply got it all wrong when it comes to how we have learned to formulate our lives? And is it half past time we throw out the old model and make room for the newer one? I think we have to ask ourselves some questions first. What has been serving us? And what has not been serving us? What do we wish we could change? Can we still change the things we wish we could in the first place? Are we standing in our own way? Or is it the belief that we have to follow what has always been actually the roadblock standing in our way? We can go round and round in circles infinitum without ever actually going anywhere or accomplishing anything. We can say, the blame is here. The blame is there. It's this person's fault. It's that person's fault. If only I... dot, dot, dot. If only I could... dot, dot, dot. If only I had... dot, dot, dot. Life would be so much easier if dot 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 in one setting or set of circumstances one group of people or one singular person rules and has final say in another setting or set of circumstances the final word belongs to someone else no matter where we go or what we do we still may be fighting for someone else's opinion their approval or their permission to go ahead with the next big thing When we each all have our own opinions and judgments of what is an acceptable or unacceptable career or way of being, is finding the right one based on anyone else's standards but our own ever even actually worth our time, energy, or mental real estate? Does throwing the middle finger into the air, metaphorically speaking, and saying, F it all, actually end up helping us out in the long run? Because we have given up holding on to the reins that other people have had on us this whole time? Why are we all currently doing the things we are doing right now? 
Why are we all on our current life paths? Have we fallen into them? Did we get quote unquote stuck in them? Is anything we are doing right now exactly what we want to be doing and more? If we could backtrack five, or 10 or 20 steps, could we pinpoint the exact moment that led us to the very one we are currently in right now? What would we change? What would we do differently? Can we still go ahead with that change even though the initial moment has passed? Are the circumstances representing themselves to us but in different packaging this time? I repeat, are the circumstances representing themselves to us, but in different packaging this time? Has the universe said, hey, wait, hold on there, boo. I don't think you heard me when I was talking to you. You didn't get it right there first, so maybe let's try take two. The only thing about the second time around or the third time around, or the fourth, or the fifth time, is that it often comes in harder or stronger this time. So instead of getting deterred, derailed, or detoured by somebody else's life plans, maybe it is just best to play by our own set of values and honor our own life book rules. Otherwise, we might turn around one day and say, what the heck am I doing here? And those are just some daily thoughts to ponder or keep on pondering. In the meantime, feel free to check out full versions of A Detoured Path, available internationally on over 21 platforms, including Amazon Music, Audible, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Anchor, and YouTube, just to name a few. Check out articles and written versions of our spoken word poems by going to chelsea-marie-mager.medium.com. And find journals and other thought-provoking commentary available for purchase on Amazon by typing Chelsea Marie Mauget. That's C-H-E-L-S-E-A space M-A-R-I-E space M-A-U-G as in great E-R as in red into your Amazon search engine. All links are provided in the description as well. So, until next time. In either podcast short soundbite form or in full audio, my name is Chelsea Marie Mauget, and you've been listening to A Detour Path, where we fully, firmly believe that sometimes the only thing we all really need in life is just a little reroute.